100 million people either uninsured or underinsured, huge profits for the hospital, insurance, pharmaceutical industries, and meanwhile we have people suffering every day as a result. So I think it's important, it's really important to me and as people, as I talk with people, to remind ourselves that the historical moment that we're in. We need to do all we can to elect somebody president who we have some real policy problems with. We have issue problems with. And there are strands in the Democratic Party, and I find this in California, where I'm working with many people, including in the congressional district where I was elected as an Obama delegate, and there are some people who say, you know, I'm concerned we have people who are involved, who are Democrats, and they're issue people. And that's the pejorative term, I want you to know. <laughs> they're issue people. And they keep raising these thorny, disputing aspects of what kind of policies the Democratic Party should pursue, what should be in the platform. Well, I'm happy to be among 140,000 issue people who are getting emails, who are part of the PDA base, who are the PDA base, who are active. 140,000 people who every time we are able to develop some information and share some perspectives, they're part of an extended PDA communication process where we're able to really, at least through the limits of the internet, through sending out mass emails, we're part of this process. That's a lot of people, it's just the beginning, but 140,000. And also, it's not finger to the wind to look at health care from the standpoint of human beings. And when we really look at the way in which the meat grinder in Washington takes people's concerns and just drags them into a rather ugly sausage factory, then we're really challenged. And I want to kind of close on that note. Not only when we say healthcare not warfare, but when we say, as the title in this statement that PDA is spearheading now for the Democratic National Party platform, guaranteed health care for all, we're serious about it, we're not euphemistic about it, and we know it's about life and death, it's about priorities, it's about do corporations rule, it's about what I think is underneath the crisis of militarism in our society, as horrific as the last eight years have been in terms of wars, repression at home, using the wars abroad to justify the repression at home, as horrific as that has been, underneath that crisis of militarism is a crisis of a dire shortage of democracy. And you cut across every issue that we're concerned about. It is about a dire shortage of democracy. And that includes, of course, health care where we have corporations ruling. Corporations determining who gets cared for and who doesn't. In many cases, who lives and who dies. It's supposed to be a society we grew up in our civics classes. Pledge allegiance, one person, one vote. Not one dollar, one vote. And so when the day after Donna Smith went to Cleveland to the 2008 drafting committee meeting for the Democratic Party platform. I went there today, and I sat there hour, hour after hour. And by the way, I was told by the platform director of the National Democratic Party, when I arrived at 9 in the morning, I said, I hope to say a few words on behalf of the statement, which has already been signed by 160 plus delegates to the Democratic National Convention in Denver, and I was told, quote, it's not going to happen, unquote. This was an instance, I believe, where there is a choreography. There's a choreography not only for this drafting committee, but for this entire platform. And that is not a message to me that we're not going to put up a fight. That is a message about what kind of fight we need to put up. Yeah. So the realism really has an opportunity to kick in. Uh, you know, some people are saying they're 
feeling disillusioned about Barack Obama, or they're worried that they may feel disillusioned about Barack Obama. And the way to be sure that you're not going to feel disillusioned is to not have illusions in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that there's really good understanding at the base around the country about what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with corporate power in its raw form. We're dealing with a National Democratic Party that has hotwired its platform on a national basis on the choo-choo train to Denver to say, look, this is about corporations being key to our future. And that's where we keep hearing about health care coverage rather than health care. And when you, you look at the language on the Obama website under health care, insurance companies, private insurance, insurance coverage, and you go and you sit in the room and you hear the authorized testimony about health care. And it's all about assuring coverage. If you want something solid, we will promise you we're going to give you some Swiss cheese. <laughs> we promise. But what I really like about the statement that PDA is distributing around the country is guaranteed health care for all, and the statement doesn't mention insurance companies at all. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not the picture they want. <laughs> so in closing, I just want to say that I don't know exactly or even approximately where we should go here in the next few weeks other than we need to accumulate as many signers from the delegates to the Democratic National Convention to this statement as we can. All they got to do, as we know, is go to pdamerica.org on the web. We all live somewhere in the country where there are delegates to the Democratic National Convention. We can steer them, we can show them, we can ask them to read, consider, and then add their names to this statement. But then what happens when the platform draft is released? and we go on to Denver. Do we take it to the floor? Well, that's our decision. I really don't know if we should do that or not. And whether we should do it, I think, will partly hinge on whether we roll in there with 200 signers among delegates, or 800 signers, or 1,000, or more. We don't know. But I think the opportunity is there. And the opportunity is really what every historical moment is about.